Greetings, Dapplings, and welcome back to RimWorld, where we are under attack, this time by raiders who have better weapons than most do. As you can see, some time has passed. It is now winter again. We have a significant amount of mining done, though we're still looking for more. We have a bunch of new power lands laid, or rather planned, but not yet laid, just to give us a little bit of uh, redundancy there. We've also dramatically increased our energy input because we were starting to run low, largely because of this, a new charging area for our robots. We also have a lot of resources just kind of uh, stocked up right now we have our little area there it actually looks much nicer in the snow generally things are moving along well but it is time for all of our mechanoids to remain indoors i do not want you going outside um we want everyone drafted absolutely everyone needs to be over here right now over there there we go. Our trap system, as you can see from the bloodstains, has seen a little bit of a uh, little bit of action. Now, are you going to be attacking straight away? I don't actually think they are, but we're going to start getting everyone into position all the same. We've got multiple ways into this area right now, and several little bonfires dotted around just to keep the temperature in the mines above freezing, because I don't want my miners suffering from the cold. No, no, no. Uh, over here. We still haven't yet built up our new area yet for weapon storage. We've got an extra battery bank there, and once that's fully charged, it will be uh, disconnected from the network, just so that we've got plenty of power in the system. Oh, they may actually be, uh, be heading off to attack us straight away. I would be impressed. Right then, let's get some of our characters in position. Rilda, you basically stand here as guard. And we don't just have our uh, attackers lined up here anymore. No, no, no. First long, long pork, long shots. Let's get you over here. We want one, two, three, and indeed four. But we want the short pork, short shots down here as well. Oh, scallywags. Uh, short pork, short shots down here. Now, the thing that we're going to be doing there is we need a couple of people in position so that they can attack anyone who moves through that door uh, through the the trap system it, it actually works out quite well from what i've experienced so far let's just get a couple of you positioned there and we'll see where we go oh deadly De oh we've got two new ones novella and harriet deadly no 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 you go and be indoors please uh armus you're going to come down here as well so is alexander hubbard you're going to take position there. Zorb, you are also going to come down. Bartok, over there, please. Akira, over there as well. Right, you two, you're free. Go do other stuff. But, 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 I would like you indoors. Don't want you going out and killing yourselves. Right, okay, now what we're going to do here is I want Emily over here. I want Armus over there, Alexander here, Dance a lot there, Overlord here, there we go, and Zorb here as well. Now this has proven to be quite potent. Rilda, you literally just stand fast, ready. If someone comes through, Rilda needs to descend on them like a, like a wild flurry of fists and teeth and claws, and they need to die in short order. Now, the way we do this, Emily, you step forward. Protocol, you go there. Armus, you go there. Dance a lot up. Alexander up. Overlord up. And Zorb up. This way, we will kill a lot of them as they're just trying to get through. Ooh, where's this fire? Oh, you scoundrels, you. Why would you do such a thing? You know what? It's pretty cold. I don't care. Now, hopefully, no one tries to go outside and deal with those fires. Now, this is what's going to happen here. Some people are going to get smacked around pretty badly by all these weapons here. There we go. Ouch! Protocol, are you alright? Ah, uh, you're fine. Right leg. Fire off that group. That's fine. Shoot again. Right, you know what? Both of you get up, because I don't want you to have to deal with that shotgun, honestly. Come on through, you. That's right. You go right around. There we go. Damn it! You broke my trap! You scoundrels! Why would you do such a thing? 
That's just mean. There we go. Very nice indeed. And our sharpshooters taking care of you. Those maces are a little bit frightening. Very nice. And they're in such a terrible position there. Because our snipers are just able to pick them off. Emily. Protocol. Pop your heads down. Uh, I would prefer you to go for the other ones, honestly. That's right. And that's it. Up you go again. Emily up as well. You know what? Protocol. Go chill out. Amos. Come down here, please. There we go. This should be okay. Now, they should continue moving. Come on. As the bodies start piling up there, it gets harder and harder for them to move through. So what happens is people die much faster because they can't get away from the long, long shots. In fact, I'll move them down so they've got a little bit of a better shot. There we go. And with that much firepower, even the strong melee combatants tend to die fairly quickly. Okay, up you go. And up you go. There we go. Nice work. Um, Emily, could you... Ugh. Okay. Don't worry about it for now then. Hopefully that fire will go out, because generally I'm fairly certain that these things don't have flammability. Come on, that's right. That's it. Now, as you can see, most people are not actually getting involved in these fights. In fact, Armus, Emily, it seems that they've progressed enough now that it would be better just to have all of you over here instead. There you go. They're fleeing. That is fantastic. Rilda, now is your chance. Go. Go destroy. Kill. Maim. Ugh. Everyone is on no trap for now. Mechanoids are now on no trap as well. Um, there we go. In fact, mechanoids are completely unrestricted. Go do your thing. Wilder, slay the everything. You are also unrestricted. I would like the long poke long shots down here. Um, short poke, uh, short poke, short shots out here. Just spread yourselves out a bit. Do what you can. Wilder is super fast at this point and should very quickly be able to take them down. There you go. I think you've just ripped their leg off. Uh, no, you just punch them into submission. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Rilda, you chase them down. I would prefer it if you ch chase them down. Fatic, go ahead. Just shoot. There you go. And keep it up. There you go. Drive them through. How are you doing, Rilda? Well done. Chase them down. Come on. I know it's snowy, but you're better than this. Kill them! Thank you. And again. There we go. And them now. Unfortunately, a lot of them are going to get away. Okay, you don't need to go for them. They're going to be killed. Think everything else should be okay? Yes. Okay, Vatic, you're good. Unfortunately, we're going to have to rebuild one of our bloody traps. That's just rude of them for have destroyed that. My lord. Right. All we want down here is to repair the broken power lines. Oh, my lord. That's pretty nasty. Well done, Rilda. Okay. Everyone is off. Go, 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 go. Get things done. Put out the fires, please. That is the highest priority thing for you to do. Also, gather all of this good stuff. Oh, you guys can be undrafted as well. Anyone else that needs to be undrafted? No, I think we're good. All right. Did we manage to grab anyone else that we need to get the th bits from? No. There we go. I think that's everything. Well done. And there we are. We've got loads of metal, so it really doesn't matter too much that they destroyed a tra trap or that they destroyed so much of my power lines. We should be able to easily repair all of this. So let's speed things up a little bit. Do we have an extra room? We do. We do, we do, we do. Let's, oh, yeah, that's just going to be a pain to have a look through. Um, what kind of character are you? Dumb labor? Nah. Uh, I mean, that's not too bad, all things told. What about you? Incapable of intellectual or artistic? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, how about you? Spider? Are you dead? Oh, no, that is, that is one of mine. Sorry. Uh, let's see. You're downed. Intellectual, artistic? Nah. No, none of them are really, really jumping out to me, honestly. I'm not particularly interested. You know what? All of you, go... 
I want Rilda. Rilda, where are you? I wish you for you to punch things until they die. There we go. I'd also like you to be unrestricted for now, because you're going to have to be doing a lot of the work here. Uh, you're up next. Go over here. Punch them until they die. And then punch that one until they die. Any others? Nope. Uh, this one down here. Go punch them. There we go. Once everything's been cleaned up, I'll have Rilda just go around and uh, gather everything. But it shouldn't take too long. All right, there we go. Thank you very much, Rilda. You're good. And we should have everything sorted. Right, fantastic. We can go over what has changed. Like I said, I've built a new battery bank. We have hollowed this area out ready for some more rooms. Or for... Well, I could either have like a gigantic battery bank or some more storage. I'm thinking more storage, honestly. Over here, this is probably going to be a corridor going up there. So this I was thinking to have as a storage room for our weapons. Oh, Hubbard has collapsed you to extreme exhaustion. Oh, poor Hubbard. Let's go check on you, Hubbard. You're very job deprived. Oh, and you observed many corpses. Well, that's just what happens in this place, my lord. We do have a new piece of art, a slate grand sculpture. It's only normal, but let's check on the art. Shot number 68. This carving is shaped like a squirrel being hunted by Alexander. The squirrel is looking around as though he senses that something is wrong. The lower part of the image is dominated by a hill. The work suggests the concept of love. Oh, right, let's get that placed down here. You know what? I would like to take these away, given that, and we'll replace them with slate. Um, actually, no, we won't. We will instead replace them with slate alternating. That'll give a sort of symmetry to it all. Now, I've disabled our butcher tables because I want to make sure that uh, we don't end up making more meat. Because, as you can see, we're a little bit, uh, a little bit full of meat at the moment. We need, we need more space. So I'm going to have to wait until a lot of that has been gathered. That's right, continue to gather up all the bits and bobs. That is fantastic. We need a new trap here as well. Let's go ahead and get that plonked down right about there. There we go. That should be good. Broken on a binge. Two people are broken. Nexus is broken because they're Nexus, and Hubbard is broken because they're getting very, very drunk. That's fine. Hubbard, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't mind actually claiming this. So go ahead, claim it, and then deconstruct it. There we go. We'll get those extra little bits. In fact, let's get these ones too. Because it just it irritates me to see them partially damaged. And there we are. Now, I would like everyone... Right, well, you can be on no trap as well for now. Until I'm ready to have you just gathering everything up. But we should have a lot of people bringing everything in at this point. Or at least I would hope they are. Doesn't look like they are, though. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Bulk goods trader. Ah, fantastic. Overlord, it is time for us to trade. Go ahead. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Auto sell everything. Nothing to auto sell. It is a shame. Um, I'm afraid Novella and Harriet. You're both going to have to leave. Also, Opal. But we'll keep the others, I think. Uh, as far as Plasteel goes, want it all. We've got nowhere near enough money. That is a shame. Um, what could we sell? You've got nothing even close to that, that value. Other than perhaps... No, we don't even have meals close to that value. Well, that's just, just very annoying. Uh, muffalo meat. Get rid of all of that. Uh, do we have any people meat that we can get rid of? M wag meat. We had a massive wag attack. And we ended up slaying quite a lot of them. It was pretty good. We made quite a lot of uh, food from that. Also, an awful lot of uh, fur as well. So we're going to get all of the plasteel. That's great. We don't need any more steel, so that's fine. Well, we could possibly do with some more gold, but we can't get it from you. Anything else? I think we're okay. All right. That's good enough for me. Except. Uh, Colony counter. Oh, right. I'm still trying to give that money to them. Damn it. I thought that was... <laughs> I'm a derp. 
Uh, let's see, can we sell any more? In fact, I'm willing to sell the vast majority of my meat stores in order to try and get this. Uh, we've got human leather, wag fur, let's get rid of all the wag fur. Okay, fine, all of the human fur. Uh, human leather, uh, you know, human fur, I guess. There we go. In some cases, that will be true. Okay, there we are, fantastic. Now, get to work, everyone. Oh, where are all those glorious weapons that should be being brought in? Hopefully we can start selling them shortly. Area revealed. Yes, I suspected it was going to be that one. Now, we're going to need to build another one of these. Just down here. Should be good enough. And that is about that. Got plenty of... Ooh, loads of space now, so I can actually tell you to continue butchering at this point, and we'll start stripping the dead. Right, how are things going down here? Uh, not too bad. We've got a bunch of things we can mine out, which is always nice to see. In fact, I strongly suspect that is all going to be steel there. We're getting up towards the point where I don't want to mine this area anymore. I was sort of thinking around here is where we would stop. That doesn't leave very many other places where we can mine, unfortunately. On the plus side, hopefully we'll hook up that geotherm again soon. It's been a while that one's been disconnected from the network. Got a bunch of weapons, some uh, silver as well. Actually, not too bad. Even got some meals out there. Okay, well, I guess it's time for us to have Rilda starting to do some work. Rilda, you got to do the dangerous stuff. I require that you collect these things. There we go. Thank you. Also collect this. Because these are the only ones right behind the traps are where no one else can go there. This is where it's restricted. And you can hold them as well. And them. I don't actually need you to take them all the way. I just need you to get them away from these restricted areas. And this one as well. And that is pretty much it for you. Right. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of plasteel. Ooh, we may have something made. <gasps> we've made the power arm. Glorious. We're going to advance by on a jaw. Where is the power arm? Advanced power arm Rilda, you're about to become incredibly deadly. Also, you're going to be able to charm the birds from the trees. Install the advanced bionic jaw and install the advanced power arm. Just make sure it's the right one, yes, on your left shoulder. Enjoy, Rilda. Soon, we will have two ears and that's literally it. We just need 20 Vansidium in total and we're done. Uh, cargo pods. Where did those cargo pods land? Because I got rid of the wrong message. Damn it. It doesn't look like it's out here. There we are. Yoink. There we go. We've struck compacted steel. How I wish you had struck plasteel instead. Got a manhunter pack. Well, that's not good. Another man had to pack of wax. This time all stuck inside. That's fine. Wow. Okay. I guess we're gonna show this off again. Right. Mechanoids. Indoors, please. Squad. Uh, sorry. Restrictions. Indoors. Ah, Realtor is not gonna be available for this one. That's just annoying. Um... Short pork, short shots, get down there. Long pork, long shots, get over here, please. There we go. And we'll see what else we can do. Now, they're going to be here pretty fast. Right, there we go. Protocol, need you down there. Dance a lot, need you over there. Overlord, over here. Emily, right there. We're going to need a couple of other people as well. Bartok, you are drafted. You're going to be going here. And Armus shall be going there. Zorb here. 
And finally, Vatic here as well. There we go. It's good enough. Right, where are the long poke long shot? I want LMC over there. I would like to Saturn with LMC. Like Jiggly God over here. And Rock Philip over there as well. It'll be fine, don't worry. Alright, is everyone in position? Uh, more or less. You can go there. Rock Philip. No? Do you refuse? Hmm. I can't seem to see where I was sending you. Very bizarre. That'll be good. Right. Now, this is how this system works when someone can't shoot you. Let's slow it down, though, because they will be coming pretty fast. Alright, you're pulling up. Go, go, move. Why are you not moving when I tell you to? That is terrible. Okay. That is not as good as I was hoping. Uh, it seems that things are taking a little bit a little bit of time for it to uh, follow through. You know what, Dancelot? You head out. I will have... Ne oh, no, not Nexus. Benoit, take your place. Seems that perhaps I can't see it because these people are restricted. That's going to be my guess. Now what I need is for them to start popping their heads out around here. Can you take shots? Yes, you can. Fantastic. We are going to get a lot of dead wags up around here. It is going to be a little bit disgusting. Okay, you need to pull back. Because that is a lot of wags. Get ready. Fire. Okay, arm us up. Fire talk up. There we go. And as soon as we get an opportunity, armor's down you go. There we are. And you two up. Bartok, you go over there. You can join in. Perfect. Protocol, get you to join in as well. There we are. Now, with such... Uh, everyone, I think at this point, actually has bionic eyes. Yes. So everyone is pretty good at aiming at this point. You would sometimes question that, given how much they miss, but they are all very, very good aims at this point. So, generally speaking, this will work quite well. Right, okay, you need to pull back. It's getting a little bit hot there, a little bit hot for you as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, you need to pull back. Emily, you can get a shot. Well done, Emily. All right, let's leave this down to Bartok and Armus. Well done. Wilder is no, in, no longer incapable of walking. Fantastic. You can do other things for now, though, Wilder. Well done. Pull up. Now, it's a little bit more involved, this method of taking out the invaders, but it's quite a lot more fun. There you go. Get a shot off quickly. Okay, you're pulling down. Well done. Now, how many are left? Quite a few. We are going to have so much more meat again. Oh, it's going to be disgusting. We're not even going to have storage for this many corpses, you understand. It is going to be terrible. Uh, who have we got? I could bring a couple of people down onto this side. Wow, really? Okay, Gormando. You can do what you want. Please don't go out. Oh, my lord. Frightening. Ah! Protocol, pull back! You get! I was paying too much attention! Right, you go. Everyone pull down. Come on, Benoit. Come on, Benoit. Ugh. Damn it, your left thumb was torn off! <laughs> oh, well. I'm gonna need to queue up a new hand for you then, aren't I? Uh, let's see. We are going to want a hand. Prosthetic hand. Then a bionic hand. Ugh. You're costing me precious, precious plasteel. Precious plasteel. There we go. Sniper's doing an amazing job there. And every time something pops up, gets immediately gunned down. There we go. Perfect. Still got a fair old thing. Really? You're going to attack my centipede? You might even actually kill my centipede. My centipede has a strong weapon, but... There's an awful lot of you there. 
Wow, you're going to break my centipede. You scoundrels, you. I mean, I could go out there and help, but I'm just flat out not going to. That would be dumb. Like, crazy dumb. Poor centipede. Muse. Muse was slain. Cruelly cut down. Right, okay, let's uh, speed up time a little bit and see how it goes. One person should easily be wiped out. In fact, Armus, come on down here. Thank you. There we are. There's going to be a lot of death coming this way. Keep it up. And again. There we go. Just let them file through one at a time. Damn it, stop breaking my defenses. There we are. And there should only be one or two left, really. Mad animal as well. I don't think it matters. I'll set you up for hunting anyway. There we go. And this is how it goes when the invaders don't have particularly powerful weapons. Or if they're all melee, effectively. There we go. Though we need to repair that door. That's a bit of a shame. Let's go and set that up. We want a steel auto door there. There we go. And we're also going to want a new wall as well. So we'll just grab that. Build that up there. Though, actually, that said... No. No, we don't. We'll just leave it as is. There we go. Uh, we will, however, place down a quick floor. Right there. Okay. I think that is everyone. No? There's one more. One more scallywag wag. You know what, Emily? Can you please just shoot it? I think that's it. Right. Everyone should now be undrafted. Just go about your business. Rock Philip, wake up. Go about your business. Ye gas, that's going to take forever to clean. That is going to be such a pain. Oh well. Uh, we want the mechanoids. You're completely unrestricted. Go wherever you would like to go. There we are. And that should be good. Right, well, the wargs are slowly murdering themselves on our colony. And we are continuing to mine out the area. I am going to continue uh, just kind of skipping time here and there. Just because... Nothing I'm doing is particularly important to have on camera, in my opinion. We're just basically passing time as we're trying to gather all of the remaining components to turn Rilda into Super Rilda. Let's do that, and uh, you know what? We'll have that connect up there as well. Really, Alexander? Are you alright? Alexander, where are you? Let's have a look. Your right ear was cut off, really? Uh, okay, fine. We'll make you a new ear as well. My goodness. Where are the ears? There we are. Got a lot of things we need to do now. Uh, we're also making a bunch of drug ribs as well to help out the people who have recently joined the colony. Because they're not they're not having the best of times, honestly. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you. They're kind of finding it a bit rough. But that is going to be it for this episode, I suspect. Except that I don't know what's going on there. Seems that there is some sort of shadow there. Is that perhaps because that zone is no roofed? No, doesn't seem it. But that's going to be it for this episode. Just a bit of a uh, update on how things are going. We are very, very close now to Rilda being ready to leave. He has almost been fully upgraded. He's got some adrenaline ribs, and we will be getting every single rib, by the way. So we're going to need a lot of plasteel before we can send Riddledar out, but they are going to be stupidly, stupidly fast. Uh, currently, they move 12.74 cells per second. They eat 174% faster than normal. They gain immunity 160% faster than normal. Their shooting accuracy is 99.54% and aiming time is 100%. They, their melee DPS is 34.3%. Diplomatic gift impact is 92%. Uh, recruit prisoner chance is 23%. Social chat is 92%. Tame Animal is 18 Trade price improvement is 2%. Train Animal chance is 26%. But here's the really nice stuff. Global work speed, 95% currently. Base healing quality, 107%. Brewing speed, 343. Butchery, 337. Uh, that's efficiency. And speed is 362. Construction speed is 755%.
Cooking speed, 343. Food poison chance is 0.05%. Harvest veil chance is 50. Healing speed is 172%. Mechanoid disassembly efficiency is 299. Mechanoid disassembly speed is 275. Medical operation speed is 164. Mining speed, 185. Plant work speed, 136. Research speed, 354. That's actually pretty amazing. Sculpting speed, 268%. Smelting, smithing, they're all up in the 2-300. Smoothing speed, they're very good at smoothing the floors. Basically, Rill just moves along and punches the floor into smoothness. And he can do that at 677% faster than the norm. Uh, surgery success chance is only 52. Now, these are all based on Rilda not having any mental augmentations at all, which is phenomenal because most of my other people have up in the 150s to 200s because they've increased their consciousness and consciousness has an effect on pretty much every single thing but with Rilda it's just because he is that good but that is going to be it for us for now it looks like we've done a fair bit of work out here in getting the redundancy set up for our geotherms we've still got a little bit to do to completely hook it all up but it's getting there now it is definitely getting there my minds are really clo uh, cold again so i'll probably set up a bunch of fires just to keep people going but we will have to see how things go Ooh, hubbard hit a trap damn it hubbard stop being a derp where are you let's go and have a look at hubbard first no it's cut off oh, damn it you scoundrel stop having your bits cut off i gotta make you a new artificial nose now as well uh, well, at least an artificial nose doesn't require much, just 10 plasteel. But that is going to be it from me. As always, I welcome any feedback you may have. And if you enjoyed the episode, do let me know in the comments what you enjoyed. But until next time, do take care.